I am a extory. Japan, Singapore, Australia, Malaysia, Sri Lanka. Two drivers from Sri Lanka taking part. We'd like the crowd to give a big round of applause and get behind the young lions. Let's watch what's going to happen. You're going to enjoy this race so much more. You're going to remember this. The first race that ever happened in Sri Lanka. The first international track. The best race series came on here today, this weekend, to feature to you, to broadcast to you, all you at home, the best race that is happening all over the world. Brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff here. The seniors, there you go, take the leash on the track. I know corner for the senior category of the X30 Asia Cup 2018. Beautiful formation. Do we have a race? Whoa, that's not Jiban. First corner already fighting really hard, not giving up at all. We race driver, race leader, Prisatio Haja pulling away. Now we have Alex Brown. Somehow it's gone up to second position. Looks like the race is on with Alex Brown in second position. This is going to be very interesting. Ishan Paris in third position coming up. Is Alex Brown capable of keeping up with Pesacho Haja? We all know Alex Brown was the overall champion in 2017 in the junior category of the X30 Southeast Asia. Can he do something this final race with Prisciato Cut 268 leading the race? Alex Wang went in the middle, move up to fourth position. Good move by Alex Wang. Cut number 224 started in third. Twenty left to go. Believe me, a lot of things gonna happen the next 10, 15 minutes. Ishan Paris is already bumper to bumper with Alex Wong. Card number two two. Uh, sorry, Alex Brown. Card two zero five. Is our Sri Lankan driver Ishan Paris is gonna go all out? He knows this is home country. He will try to take the flag home if he can. He's trying as much as he can. Bumper to bumper with Alex Wong. Alex Brown. Cut 205. The fight between Cut 205 and Cut 230 is going to allow our race leader to put a big gap. We got to remember Prisciato Haja is a very, very fast driver as well. This is going to allow Alex Huang hawking behind these two drivers, waiting for his chance to take the advantage of the situation. Is Alex Huang going to take any move with Cut 230, Ishan Perry? Interesting setup here because all the drivers are in it. Hadja in front. Alex Brown and Ishan Paris followed by Alex Hong. The last fast lap of Ishan Paris was 52.14. Ishan is on fire. He is going to push all the way. He knows he can take on Alex Brown, cut 205. But he's got to be careful with Alex Wang just right behind him as well. These drivers are all fast enough to overtake each other. Let's see what is going to happen. No changes so far in the standings. Drivers taking their time, measuring the opponent, making sure that they get their line right. Watch out the fight between Akila Chandra, Sanaka, Clay Bradley and Jace Matthew. Jace Matthew was really quick the whole weekend but lost his pace later on, early on in the pre-final. But we all know our friend from Australia, Chase Matthew, is all capable of. It looks like the race leader is not pulling any further in this final, like what he did in the pre-final. That shows that Alex Brown is giving all he can. Alex Brown, Chase Matthew, Ishan Paris. They're giving everything they can. 
Ooh, Ishan Pires went in an inside, taking second position. Ishan Pires taking second position right now. Is he going to push harder to chase after the rapid? The race leader, 2 6 Preciato. Right now, we have Alex Wang all over Alex Brown right now. Is Alex Wang going to make any move? But he's got to be careful with him behind him was Akila Chandra. Card number 269. Ishan Paris, our Sri Lankan driver. you got to bring back the checkered flag if you can for your country. You have 600 countrymen right here looking at you racing, Ishan. We wish you all the best. Show us what you can do, Ishan. 600 here at the venue and so many more eyes on you in front of the TVs and also in front of the computers and the mobiles. I just saw Alex Wang cut number 224. Just overtaken Alex Brown, taking the position. What a great move by Alex Wang. Moving up to third position. Now his rabbit will be Ishan Paris cut 230. Cut 230 is all pushing all he can. He's getting closer actually as we speak to the race leader 268. Is Ishan Paris fast enough to take the checker flag? We have 15 more left to go. Anything can happen. We have Alex Wong flying as well. Let's see who is going to take the checker flag by end of this race. Presetto Haja in front. But he knows that Ishan is coming behind him. He, is, he knows that Ishan is on his tail. And he better know that Ishan uh, relishes this much more because what a better story to tell everybody than to win the first race to be held in Sri Lanka's international karting circuit. That's some bragging rights he will be looking for. Plus that ticket which will take him to Le Mans. Well, the gap between the leader and Isan Paris is 0.6 of a second. We have 14 more left to go. It's possible Isan Paris is going to make a move if he keeps his pace. Both leaders are doing 52.3. They're not far off at all. Now we can witness a different driving racecraft all together. Totally different from Heat 1 and Pre-Final. They are going all out right now. Different racecraft, different strategy. Pushing everything they can. Look at Isan Paris. Look at Cut 230. He is not letting the race leader move an inch away from him. Every single lap. Not even give, a, give what he cares about. Alex Wang right behind him. He is pushing everything he can. Let's see what's the left time and what see let's see what the gap between both of them right now. Looks to me like Ishan Paris is getting closer. 52.3. That's as fast as the previous lap. Ishan Paris is now closing up a 0.6 of a second different with the race leader. We see some maneuvering in the mid pack. Currently Alex Song, the fastest driver on the track. With the best lap time of 52.11. And Ishan Peri is close behind with 52.14. But it's still Hadja in front. But he, he knows he's in trouble with Ishan Peri chasing him up. Well, but this is a real fast race. Yes, and Ishan and Prisciato both have been racing together for a long, long time. So both know exactly the skill of each other. Both knows that they can't take any chances. They are as quick. Ishan has took him a lot of trophy. He has won a lot of races. Preciato as well. Look at Ishan right now. It's 0 0.49. 0 0.49 of a second apart between the front two right now. 11 more left to go. Ishan Paris is on fire. I am sure Cut 2 6 Preciato right now, he knows, he knows he's losing pace, he knows that Ishan Peri is on the fire. This is going to get closer and closer each lap as we go. Alex Wang is also pushing Cut 2 2 forward. We'll see what Alex Wang can do. Alex Pound is also doing his best, keeping his fourth position. 
Is the gap getting closer after this lap? Having have a look. 0 0.46. 0 0.46 apart what is 0 0.46 you can't even do a bling at 0 0.46 and there's a difference between two of them the front two race leader are pushing really hard i can see the cut two six is presato is holding on to his dear life not making a slight mistake and cause his race this is going to get very interesting in the next two minutes 10 more left to go if he's Pires keep up his pace we are going to see some move by ishan Pires cut 230 in the next couple of laps my dear we are only halfway through this race and already it's on fire 10 more laps to go if you're sitting down and if you're here at bandaragama get on to your feet because this race is absolutely thr thrilling get behind the local man who's in the second place ishan paris vying for honor vying for that all important top position seems like he doesn't care about strategy all he cares about is making sure that he's the one to the checkered flag brilliant driving right on the tail of Hardia. he's waiting for that tiny mistake to appear from the race leader that tiny opportunity so that he can attack that opportunity and get the pole position based on what i see on screen i'm sure it's closer right now early on the 0 0.46 apart what is the gap between the front two drivers 0 0.38 every left ishan Pires. he's going faster and faster as the left goes 52.50 this is getting very very exciting right here in the Sri Lanka cutting circuit the X30 Asia Cup 2018 this is only the beginning of the year and we are seeing amazing brilliant driving already by this professional race driver seems like Ishan Pires is closing in a little bit more This, this is getting very very close final turn coming through to the end line Ishan Pires 52.51 this kid is on fire the gap between them is 0 0.3 of a second right now he's getting crazy right now here on track we have all the drivers pushing hard they got to be careful with Alex Wong behind them at the same time not to make any mistake not easy to make a move like a race leader like this but let's see what Ishan Pires can do he's got the pace right now he knows he got the left time right now he knows exactly what he has to do he's got enough time seven more left to go Ishan Pires the Sri Lankan driver everyone is looking at your race right now on telly and live Beautiful, beautiful stuff here. And this time around, 2.9. 0 0.29. 0 0.29. Earlier was 0.33. Hisham Paris. This is real racing going on right now. With our Sri Lankan driver, Katu Tari, chasing after a race leader, 268 Prisato Haja. What an amazing race. Not forgetting the mid pack is fighting between Shanaka, Clegg, Bradley, Takiaru, and Alistair Young. What a race. What a start for the year 2018 for X30 challenge you can hear the passion you can hear the energy in my co-host Ben Tang he's absolutely stoked at what he's seeing and so should we be a young Sri Lankan giving everything he can these, take a look at this these two drivers is showing exactly what happens during a race this is exactly what they have to do Back to 0 0.35 right now. Our race leader, 268, Prisacho. He knows he's got to put his foot down. He knows he's got to try his best. He's got a man on fire right at behind him. Chasing after him. He's not going to give it easy. Prisacho is a very, very fast driver and skillful driver as well. There you go. Have a look. He knows Ishan is creeping up closer. Believe me, he ain't going to let an easy game for Ishan Perry.
Dago do Rio Will. It's very, very, very close. Extremely close. Ishan Peri is right on the tail of the race leader. 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 apart between the race leader 268 and 230. Looks like our race leader realized he can be falling asleep. He's got to put his foot down if he wants to take a checker flag. Four more left to go. Are we going to win us another final lap move by our race driver? Excitement building in here at the commentary box so you can imagine what's it like to be behind the wheel four more laps to go everything that you all did comes down to this and Ishan Pires is so so close ever so close will he win Sri Lanka's second victory this is gonna be exciting coming around the first straight Ishan Pires flying lap 0 0.2 0 0.2 gap between the front two 0 0.2 seconds what is this i'm gonna bring to you guys in sri lanka what kind of race craft he's gonna show you guys how good a sri lankan driver is we got yevan david who took the championship is ishan perry is gonna do proud to the country as well now not forgetting our indonesian driver Prisiato haja a very well respected driver as well doing all he can putting on a good show for us as well let's see three more laps to go should anything gonna happen? It has to happen soon. 0 0.2 earlier on when they pass the line. It's a very, very close race. But Pisato showing the experience, showing what he's capable of. And mind you, to have somebody chase you the entire time. And to keep your composure is no easy joke traveling at this kind of speed through 20 laps. Got to take it to that man, Indonesian Prasato Halja. Make it really good work, having the good sense to see off Eshan Piris. But as for Eshan, he's not going to give up. Two more laps to go. He will make sure that he get, throws everything and the kitchen sink towards the race leader we're not forgetting Prisciato Haja was the race champion overall champion of the X30 Southeast Asia 2017 it's not going to be an easy game for Ishan Paris with the last lap to go for the final of the senior category Ishan Paris or Prisciato Haja is going to take the checker flag both drivers now know this is all or nothing look at look at Ishan Paris He's gone way fast on the first sector right now. He's doing everything he can. Look at that. With Alex Wang behind him. Ishan Pieris. Very last lap. A couple more corners to go. Are you going to make any move? Is Ishan Pieris close enough at the last corner? Maybe not. Let's see. Prisciato Haja holding on to his life. Wait, keeping the race leadership. Ishan Pieris right behind him. Very last corner. Do we have a race winner for the senior category X30 Asia Final Asia Cup? Prisciato Haja followed by Ishan Paris Cut 230 with Alex Wang. In fourth, we have Alex Brown in fifth. Akila Chandra, sixth. Bradley Benedict in seventh position. Jason Matthew, eighth position. Shanka Clay, ninth. Alistair Young, ten. Aiden Chong. That's the top ten of this category. What a drive by our Sri Lankan driver. Ishan Paris Cup 230 you put so much effort and you made a race so exciting for all of us you done your best we saw it we saw it and well done Cup 268 Pusiato you deserve the win the whole weekend dominating hit 1, hit 2, hit 3 and pre-final well done Cup 268 Pusiato Haja all the way from Indonesia what a race by this senior category this afternoon in the X30 Asia Cup 2018 Congratulations to Presio Haja, here you go. This is how it finished with Ishan Firis right behind him throughout, but very well deserved victory to Presio. And uh, as you, most of you at home would have seen, soon after they crossed, soon after they received the checkered flag,
both Prestia and Ishan Pires fist bumping each other. They race like mad, but soon as the race is done, we are good friends. That's the camaraderie that they have between each other. Alex Wong and Alex Brown, the rookie who's come up to the senior category, showing that he will be a, a one to watch out for. Well, well, this is the final race that we just witnessed. The senior category that has done the best race so far.